Feast your eyes on this delicious looking dish. Blackened diver scallops over a roasted butternut squash bacon risotto. Give you one guess as to who whipped this up. This guy, Aye. Chef Jesus <laughs> Valentino Gordiani of Benvenuto, never disappoints. Joining us this afternoon in the Del Marble Life Kitchen, good to have you back, Chef. Always a pleasure being here, guys. Thank you so much, Katie. Yeah. Great to see you as well. Oh, always. Uh, so, what are we doing? So today we're going to prepare salmon. So what we like yeah. to do is we like to feature some of the items that we have on our current menus. Sure. And this is a hot seller, and we really do get a lot of requests. Folks ask us, "Hey, can you give us the recipe for this?" And what better way to do it right than to do it right here the wow. best place right to be right here on the greatest show it really is it really is better than all the others and yep. i can say that <laughs> so so very simple so it's a salmon that has been you know lightly blackened uh finished in the oven it's very easy to do at home and then we have all these aromatics here that are going to make up these delicious uh beautiful lentils how do so, we start right all right how do we start? How do we start? we're going to start with this fish here all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take our salmon always get something fresh all right you know, you trust your local guy, wherever you get your fish from. You know, always make sure to try to get something that's local, right? Yeah. Uh, or at least as close as possible. So we're just gonna do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we always begin with a nice hot pan, all right? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil to this, all right? And that's gonna get our searing going, all right? And this pan's already nice and hot. You feel oh that? yeah, feel that, yeah. Okay, nice and hot already, yep. okay? And you'll see when the oil's kind of ready. You see that little smoke coming off that? Oh yeah. All right, that's how you know it's ready. It's okay. time. Mm-hmm, so what we're gonna do is, you wanna listen for this little sizzle, okay? And, Ooh, see that? That's a nice sound. Yes, so you know you're searing, you're not steaming, okay? So these typically take, you know, a couple minutes per side. All right, if you feel, feel you know you need a little bit more heat, then you can certainly turn your heat up. So do we season this side? Well, no, we're gonna season the presentation side. Oh, okay. Okay, so this here is the skin side. We're gonna season the presentation side. Okay. It's gonna be perfect, all right? So we're gonna kinda let this go. Yep. In this pan here, we're gonna begin our lentils, okay? Right. So we begin with a little bit of oil, all right? In the restaurant, we roast garlic off, all right? Mm. So this is, nice. it takes all the bite out of it, but just allows you to keep that sweetness okay. that you get from, from garlic, right? And again, you hear that sizzle? And that's what you want because you're marrying flavors. All right, you, so. you cook hot. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, you have to cook hot to look hot, right? Hey, well, I, I know, you're pretty hot anyway, so. Right. Yeah. I'll be here all day. Yeah. All right, so we're also gonna add some roasted onions to this, all right? So he goes in, <clears throat> one of my favorite ingredients, bacon, all right? We got Whoa. some bacon going. Okay. You yeah. have to, so, you have that, to, yeah. all right? Add a little bit of bacon to that, all right? We're also gonna add some baby spinach, all right? It seems like a lot, but this really wilts down, sure. okay? It wilts down, so some baby spinach here. Oh, that all right. smells so good. All right, and then, of course, the star of our show is these beautiful lentils, all right? So we're gonna add our lentils in, and this really is how easy it is to do this, all right? Yeah. Obviously, we're gonna season a little salt. Oh, yeah. All right, a little bit of pepper, because it has to taste good, all right? Now, we're gonna turn our attention to our fish, and remember, we put this guy down first, so we're gonna flip this guy first, all right? Right, Very right, simple, right. just kind of, Oh, see that wow. nice color? Goodness. All right, you that see, that? see that camera guy? All right? And this is really what you're looking for. Look at that. Okay? He knows what he's doing. I've done this once or twice. Once or twice. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do now, Jimmy, is we are going to just let this kind of sear for about a minute. Right. And then we're going to put this into a 350 degree oven. Okay. All right? So, so we're going to do that now? Yes, yeah, so that's going to be all you, my friend. Listen, uh, you are the chef. I do not have the hands that you do. Oh, I have, that's okay. I have seen the magic that you do with those hands. <laughs> Sticking them in the pan, absolutely amazing. Yeah. All right, we try, we try. Hey, right. how have things been going at the restaurant? You know, everything's been going wonderful. We're yeah. blessed. Uh, we have a wonderful, wonderful uh, support system. We have the most amazing guests, we really do. And uh, we just always have different things going on, you know? Yeah. Uh, one of the things we're getting prepared for right now is our next wine and culinary event, Ooh. which is this Friday. Hey! Right? Yes, and we have a gentleman coming in from Tuscany. His name is Manfredo Di Bonifacio, and he is the owner of the winery. Wow. So he's gonna be coming in. We have some amazing wines and some amazing food to complement all the wines. So we're very excited for that. Oh we're gosh. almost booked up. So you have to get those reservations in. Now's yeah. the time. Yeah, 302 265 2652. Call and make reservations. All right. So now, 
These are our lentils. You see how the spinach is starting to wilt down? Yeah, we have yeah. it seasoned a little bit. So now, what we're gonna do is, if you see the color that we're getting from the bacon, if you can see that camera guy, that's amazing, look at that. So those flavors are all kind of getting married in there. Mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna add a little bit of stock to this. All right, whether you use, because remember, it's salmon, so you can use a little fish stock. Okay. You can mm -hmm. use a little chicken stock. You can all use right. any, anything you're you flexible. like. So this here is just a little bit of chicken stock. And you're gonna see how now, this kind of starts to, you know, pull everything together, right? Oh, yeah. See that? All right, so now it's, everybody's in the pool, right? So one of the other things I love to serve with any fish is lemon, right? But what we're gonna do is something a little bit different. And what we do at the restaurant is we just use a little bit of oil, okay? Mm -hmm. And we do this on the griddle, and we take some of these beautiful lemons, fresh lemons, we just cut them in half. Right. And then you're just gonna, you know, sear them. Oh. Hear that sizzle? You're gonna sear yeah. the lemon. And we are actually searing the lemon. We're charring them, is what we call it at the restaurant. Char yeah. lemons. And it just gives it a whole nother flavor. You know, really? a whole nother layer of flavor. Absolutely. You'll Love see when that. you taste it. Yep. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let these lentils kind of cook mm -hmm. down. Right. All right. Our fish will be ready in about two minutes. And I think when we come back, we can plate these bad boys up. What do you guys think? I'm ready for that. I think right. you have called it absolutely for sure. So Time to put the fishing touches in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Got Marvel Life will be right back. So it's time to put the finishing touches on our pan-seared salmon dish with Chef Jesus Valentino Gordiani of Benvenuto Restaurant in Milford. I'm so glad you're here today. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. It's a colorful dish, We're too. Pulling I think, it, right? it is. It's a beautiful dish. Love that. All right. We're excited for this one. Oh. Good job, Jimmy. Oh, oh man, look chef. at that. Oh, Chef. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. That really does. That really does. So, so check this out, right? You yeah. know, when you guys are at home, remember, it's your kitchen. You can do what you like, mm -hmm. whatever vessels you guys want to use. I thought this was a nice, fun little vessel. I love right? it. It looks nice. It looks elegant. It looks Very like you unique. two. It looks like you guys. Oh, right? really? Katie and Jimmy, yes. A pointy head. I guess that's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so see how beautiful that came wow, out? yeah. See that's that? Nice. I don't know if you can get that, Mr. Camera Guy. All right? Mr. Camera All right. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of nice colors in here. All right? Perfect for the fall. Yeah. And what we do is just a nice base. Remember, our guests are going to eat with their eyes first, right? Exactly. So that's what we want to make sure we do, right? So are you specially trained for this, or is this something you just feel and know? You know what? I woke up a couple weeks ago and just said, I'm going to start cooking. <laughs> that was it. And that was it. I mean, really, it was... That's why I ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> it was that simple, Jimmy. I really just woke up one day. No, it's, it's something that I felt uh, I had a passion for, yeah. and, uh, and I just decided to, you know, continue with it, right? So we have this base here, right? You can see how beautiful that looks, yes. all right? I love that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place our salmon. So just try to be a little bit gentle. You, I feel like you didn't even over flavor the salmon too. Like I feel like you put a couple things on there and you're kind of letting it, it be the flavor. Yes, right? and, and that's a really good point that you brought up. You almost thought we rehearsed it, all right? right. But, <laughs> but no, really when we're cooking, you know, let, let the ingredients kind of be the start of the show. So if yeah. you really try to mash something with a lot of flavors, right. you're kind of pulling away from it, right? And right. So it. yeah, okay. so just kind of let it do its thing, all right? So I'm gonna ask for this roasted pepper sauce here. Yep. This is something that we do at the restaurant. And this is just mild. It really just gives the salmon a really, really nice flavor. And see, this is kind of how we do it at the restaurant. These are our crispy leeks. So Katie, I'll take those if you don't mind. Okay. All right, so crispy leeks here. And these basically, you can just kind of cut these down, little julienne style, soak them in some water overnight, and then just flash fry them the next day. And they just add texture, okay? Because I think this is a soft dish, right? So you want to add a little bit of texture to it, all right? So we're going to have add some crispy leeks to this, or as some of our servers call it at the restaurant, Hey, hey, can you put some hay on there, hey. right? And, and Excellent. then, because we want to make everything nice and healthy, we have yeah. to add some greens, right? So we have some beautiful, you know, micro celery that we're going to add to this dish just to kind of make it a little bit more, more vibrant. And okay. of course, as I mentioned earlier, you know, with any seafood, you know, some nice lemon. And look how beautiful <gasps> these charred up. Wow. See that, Jimmy? And we're just going to add a little bit. Of, look how beautiful that looks. Oh, wow. Right? And, and look, we're really cooking here, right? We're really cooking. Totally. So, you know, this is really just how simple, you know, it is to, to prepare these dishes. All right, tell us again real quick where you are. We are at Benvenuto, and uh, we are at 249 Northeast Front Street in beautiful downtown Milford in the Riverwalk Plaza. And again, the most amazing wine and culinary event this Friday, okay. March 18th. Make okay. your reservations, 302. 
2652. I gotta say too, every time I go into Bendaboo, it is just a stunning place. Yeah. You walk in and you just feel like you're in another country. You feel like you're in Italy. It's mm -hmm. just so much fun. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, Lisa and, and Pancho, they have done an amazing job in setting yeah. up that restaurant. It is absolutely stunning and I can't wait to see you guys there. Yeah. Sounds like a date night to me, but you know what? Right now I got a fork in my pocket. Yeah, when do I get to try this here? We're gonna try this right now. This one's for you. Thank you, Chef. Mr. Jimmy. All right. Okay, I'm gonna pull oh. these leeks out. Yeah. This this is so pretty. Now, I almost do I, don't want to dig in. Do I squeeze the lemon almost. on there, or do I just like? So what I what I tend to do is yeah. I like to kind of stick a fork in the lemon. I was just and then kind of turn it oh. all right right in the center and just kind of squeeze it over I, that. You know, I never thought of that. There you go. See that? Ooh, How look at that. that. Do that in slow motion, right? Huh? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right there. All just right, like here we that. go. Chef, you are the best. Oh, thank you. And I'm just going to take a bite of this to confirm what we already know. Mm. Oh my goodness. Huh? Yes? Yes. A million times yes. It really, I love what we were saying, like, the salmon flavor is just phenomenal. And then you get that lemon, and this, I've never had a lemon like this before, I feel like. Yeah. Wow. It's good stuff. And it's something so simple, right? Yeah. I like salmon. What you, you, you've made it even more perfect, or? Mm hmm You did. Well, I, I just took it out of the oven. <laughs> and you know what? That crunchy hay right, is crunchy quite nice. Hay. He's pretty yeah. good. Yes, yes yeah. it is. Chef Jesus Gordiani, yeah. Benvenuto, again, thank <clears> you so much. <throat> we might have to have you do this next thing because I think we're going to have our mouth full. Anyway. Yeah. So we literally put the hay in Jesus. Hey! Put the hay in Jesus. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Off right. the break. <laughs> thank you guys so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you.